Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the Admiral Schroeder, Tier 9 German heavy cruiser, which is destined to become the next dockyard reward ship once the current Puerto Rico event ends. The Admiral Schroeder is based on an idea from the late 1920s regarding the creation of a high speed battlecruiser armed with 305 millimeter guns and having relatively light armor. Now the Admiral Schroeder is described in game as being well suited for combat at medium distances due to its decent survivability as well as its large caliber of main battery guns and high firing accuracy. In the event of a close encounter with the enemy, powerful and accurate secondary guns with long range come into play and the signature German hydroacoustic search is useful to prevent torpedo attacks. The Admiral Schroeder has very good concealment and due to its very high speed, thanks to its improved engine boost, is quickly able to maneuver around the battlefield, changing position should need be. The Admiral Schroeder, it is currently in testing, so let's look at the consumables. We can see damage control party, very good hydroacoustic search, 4 kilometers torpedoes, 6 kilometers for ships. This improved engine boost that gives a max speed boost of 15%. Repair party. You can see quickly here uh, the upgrades I am using. I am boosting the secondaries. You can see here additional 20%. This is the build I'm using. Very quickly go through this, just boosting the heavy AP shells, the only thing of note here. So let's start by having a closer look at the armor layout. We can see the Avron Schroeder gets a solid 27mm fore end plating, upper and lower. The main deck is 30mm. Upper casemate armor is 90 millimeters, while the armor belt itself is 190, two sections of 190 millimeters. Aft end plating, 27 millimeters. The main deck is in two sections, both have 30 millimeters of plating. All this upper casemate is 90 millimeters. The superstructure plating, 16 millimeters. The turrets, frontal plate of 305. 180 top plating. Elements of side plating, all 180 millimeter. And the rear plate is 300 millimeters. Let's look at the internal armor. You can see there is an element of sloped internal plating. Let's look at the actual citadel itself. Citadel is submerged, running from the front turret to just behind the rear turret. Citadel deck armor of 60 millimeters, and the athwart ship stern is 100, and the same at the bow. This ties in directly with the survivability. 59,300 hit points, a torpedo protection damage reduction of 22%. And I remember this is further reinforced by having four repair parties with this build. Moving to the main artillery, Admiral Schroeder gets eight 305mm guns in four twin mounted turrets, two fore and two aft. They have a reload time of 15.8 seconds. They can rotate 180 degrees in 25.7 seconds. And with this build have a max dispersion of 202 meters with a max firing range of 18.4 kilometers. These guns can fire both high explosive and armor piercing shells. High explosive have a max alpha damage of 
3,400, 24% fire chance, they can penetrate 76 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 850 meters per second. The armor piercing have a max alpha damage of 8,715 and a slightly faster shell speed of 855 meters per second. So Admiral Schroeder is designed with these very strong secondaries. Now we can see Admiral Schroeder gets 20 of these 128 millimeter in 10 twin mounted turrets. He's having a max firing range of 10 kilometers. Remember, Admiral Schroeder is a cruiser. 2.9 second reload, firing high explosive shells with a max damage of 1500, a fire chance of 6%. Now, most importantly, these can pen 32 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 900 meters per second. This is further reinforced by having three triple mounted 150 millimeter guns. These have the same max range of 10 kilometers, a 5.6 second reload time. They can inflict a max damage of 1700, 9% fire chance. They can pen 38 millimeters of armor and have a very fast shell speed of 960 meters per second. So a quite strong looking secondary focused heavy cruiser here. Moving to the depth charges, two charges, eight bombs per charge with a max damage of 2200 and a reload time of 40 seconds. These are ship based Depth charges, no aircraft. Now moving to the AA defense. Admiral Schroeder gets eight quad mounted 20 millimeter. He's flak 35 veerlings. 32 of these in total. Scattered around the superstructure. Seven twin mounted 55 millimeter. Fourteen up in total. These secondary battery one twenty eight millimeter are dual purpose. They double up as AA guns. Twenty in total. One hundred and twenty eight millimeter. All combined, they pump out a continuous average damage of three hundred and thirty two. The vast majority of which is medium range. Admiral Schroeder fires six shell explosions per flak salvo with a max damage of 1540. Priority sector reinforcement of 50% and the max firing range is six kilometers. Moving to the Schroeder's maneuverability. Max speed of 34.1 knots. This is with the speed flag. A speed is 32.5, 34.1 with the speed flag. And remember, Admiral Schroeder gets a 15% speed boost from this engine boost consumable. Turning circle radius is 840 meters with a rudder shift time of 10.9 seconds. Now finally, stats wise, Admiral Schroeder gets a concealment rating of 65 with a very good concealment rating of 10.2 kilometers. Will be surface detected by submarines and aircraft both at 8.1 kilometer. Very good concealment. If we just make a quick note, 10.2 concealment and your secondary battery range is 10 kilometer. So this is the Admiral Schroeder pictured here in the Fjord Sport. A very nice looking camo on this ship indeed. So this is currently in testing. This is destined to be the new dockyard ship once the Puerto Rico event ends. Very nice looking secondary focused battlecruiser 
Admiral Schroeder. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now remember, this is a work in progress and subject to change throughout the testing process. If you'd like to see some live gameplay, feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sealing it like you stole it.